Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? It's Mike back with the thought of the day, July 17, 2023. First, I want to give honor and praise to Ohio Shore Ohio for waking me up today and giving me the strength and the wisdom to bring you this message. Next, I'd like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. May your will, not mine, be done. Today I want to talk about staying sober regardless of what's going on. Staying sober regardless of what's going on. Sobriety brings you a lot of great things. Serenity, peace, a better life, a better relationship with your family and friends. Uh, might bring you a new job, a new house, a new car. It has its perks, definitely has its perks. Most of all, a relationship with the Most High, if you do the steps the, the correct way. But during sobriety, tragedy still comes. And it's our job to stay sober through those tragedies. I got sober in 2019. Right after that, the so-called pandemic hit. And that was my first big test of what I was going to do. Um, there was a lot going on in 2019, 2020, 2020, I lost some close people to me. My grandfather died, my aunt died. Um, a couple months after my grandfather died, that hit my family hard. During that time, I lost some close friends. I lost some, um, a lot of people during the COVID situation, but I stayed sober. I stayed sober by going to meetings, by the grace of God and, and, and going to meetings and really being in service. I remember try, having to find a meeting when I first moved out to Freehold and we was meeting outside because the clubhouse was closed. We had to do what we had to do to stay sober. Um, and I went through a divorce during, the, during that time while in sobriety. I still had to figure out how to stay sober. I, I went to meetings, I shared about it. I got advice from other people inside the fellowship and things of that nature change your life it's not easy but it happens and i say that to say it is that my first wife that was tragically taken today is her birthday and i'm down in florida right now i still gotta stay sober i'm gonna chill out today hit me a meeting today um i found a meeting jump in the uber hit, hit that meeting today share about what's going on in my life and i gotta get on with it we have to find a way not to pick up regardless to what's going on Life is going to punch us in the face. And what that does is just adds to our testimony so we can help people who haven't been through that yet. Um, this is Brother Mike. Remember, stay sober regardless of what's going on in your life one day at a time. Go to your meetings, do your steps, um, find you, talk to your sponsor, find a network, and go from there. Peace. Shalom.